Okay, so I just opened your file. I'm going to change this view around to level one floor plan. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to fix your curtain walls. So you have a window and a curtain wall that's set to embed. So I'm going to delete the curtain wall. Or sorry, I'm going to delete the windows. It's fixed window, delete. You don't need those. These are set to embed. So you just need to slide them into alignment with the wall and it'll cut an opening. Boom. So now you got an opening cut. It's proper placement for that. Do the same thing on this. Align it. So now those are cutting. That's the automatically embed so you don't need to put that fixed window frame. So now to get these to look transparent, I noticed that your windows are set up incorrectly, or your curtain, curtain wall set up incorrectly. So I'm going to take a camera shot looking in and you can see through it because of the settings but I'm going to change this to realistic and that's where you're getting your gray. So if I come in here and look at these panels this entire is one big curtain system but you have systems within a system so if I pick that bigger box versus the actual panel itself so there's the highlight I want See, that's an exterior glazing curtain wall panel within a panel. So I'm going to pick the entire panel, the whole system, and I'm going to edit this curtain wall system type so that the curtain panel is not the curtain wall itself, but it's just the glazed panel. So system panel glazed. Only a piece of glass versus the whole system. Hit OK. So now that gets rid of that redundancy. So now all you have is the glass panel. Still can't see through it. So now I'm going to hover over the edge and hit tab until I can pick just the glazing panel. So system panel glaze. I'm going to edit its type properties. I'm going to go into the material glass. And when that pulls up, under its appearance setting, you have transparency here, which only does its shading view transparency. You go to appearance down here underneath of these drop downs you have another transparency box so this one sets the material transparency so now you can play with the transparency of the material if I go back to that there now you'll be able to see through those when you render as for this wall being transparent I'm not sure why in the world that's doing that if it's the wall type or the material for the basic wall um, if that's an issue then a rustic brick you might have the same situation where the appearance might have a transparency set no it might be because of this material is missing or it might just be because uh, that's not set to transparent yet I'm not sure I'm not gonna dig into that unless you need it but anyway that's how you fix your curtain panels hope that helped